Hello fellow survivors and welcome to another video about the Forsaken airfield in the far range. This new area which you can only access if you have the DLC is pretty great. I really like it. It's got a really unusual design in that it's deceptively open and flat and it's got a lot of stuff to discover along the edges. So in this video I'm going to give you a walkthrough of this area. If you want to see a blind exploration type uh, gameplay, I have one where I enter this region for the first time and I go in blind, not knowing where anything is. And I also have a, a video where I go through it on Stalker. However, in this video, I'm going to walk through pretty much the entire region because I know where more or less everything is now. And in the video, I'll be going to pretty much all the locations. There are a couple smaller things that I don't go to. But I go to most of the locations that have anything worth checking out. I will point out that this region is definitely going to be more developed as time goes on, because at the moment there aren't actually that many items to find and that much of a reward to go there. But as the DLC gets more and more released, there definitely will be more items to find. So I think this region is only going to get better with time. And before we hop into the video, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of the region itself and show where some of the items are. If you don't want to see this and just want to hop straight into the video, skip to this timestamp in the video and then you won't see the items I'm pointing out in case you don't want the region spoiled and just want to see me playing through it. Okay, so here we have a map of Forsaken Airfield with some of the key structures implemented in so you can see where they are. We obviously have the airfield over here, and this is where you spawn. You spawn right next to the transfer hub, and you have to kind of make your long way all the way over there. It's quite a long route. And then you have uh, the final approach helicopter crash, the mindful cabin, the island cottage, and there's a whole bunch of caves all over the place, but only one of them is of particular interest in my opinion. Now there's a few things to point out there. First thing is, where are the matches? Well, there are matches in this map right here in the Forsaken Airfield control tower. When you go in there, you'll find matches right away. You can also find a second set of matches there. And if they're not there, they'll be nearby or they can be in a hunter's blind, not too far away either. So matches go to the airport right away and you find matches. And you can also find a forge here. This is actually the new forge to the game. At the fourth one, it's in the basement in the hangar and you can go there. Uh, it's hard to see in the dark, but the forge is there. You are actually safe from the glimmer fog as well when you're there. And you're also very likely to find a pry bar uh, in the airport as well. So you can open some of the lockers. So in addition to that, there's a bunch of different loot, a bunch of clothing items and cloth and misc. So it's a great place to go and, and loot. And you can get started pretty easily. And there's a few other things to point out. There's a trailer over here next to the airport. And in there, you can usually find some good clothing items including combat pants. So it's worth going to this, uh, this trailer over here just to check if they have that. And then of course you have the crashed helicopter and in the crashed helicopter, you can find a flare gun. It's also possible to not find the gun there at all or to find flare shells. And um, you can also find flare shells in the control tower, but it's only a chance, it's not guaranteed. The mindful cabin up at the top is a bit unique in that there is some there are some loose boards there and you can find a few unique items there. You can find a mag lens and you can actually find a revolver on the interloper as well. Uh, however, it's not guaranteed and the revolver especially is definitely a bug because Hintlin has said that you're not meant to find weapons and these things happen sometimes. So the revolver, if you do find it, I don't think that's intended. The maglens could be intended though. So that's something to look out for. In the uh, island cottage, there is a chance of a hammer spawn. So that's something to look out for if you go there. And then this cave up here, there's loads and loads of caves all over the place uh, across the entire edge of this map. There's loads of caves. But this cave is uh, near the waterfall is special because if you go to this cave, you very often find uh, a good jacket. And you can actually find a Mackinac jacket there, which is great on interloper. I only found it once. And then the other time I found ski jackets and you can also find nothing, but it's definitely worth checking this cave out. And then there's one more thing, which is the Polaroids. Uh, there's a Polaroid uh, in the island cottage. It's, uh, it's hanging on a wall or something. 
And then the other one is over here. There's a trailer here that I haven't put on the map, which is uh, one of three indoor areas. And uh, you can find a Polaroid, not in the trailer, but in a car outside the trailer. So in this, um, in this video, I'm going to go through pretty much all of these locations, as well as a bunch of other ones. There's a bunch of little um, fishing cabins, uh, trailers, caves, and a bunch of other things. So in this video, I'm going to go through all of those. So with that being said, let's get to it. Hello fellow survivors and welcome to another interloper video. We're going to go back to the Forsaken airfield. I haven't really been there enough I think because I came there when the area was released and then after that I was more about exploring the game in general so uh, and the changes that came with the DLC release but I think we should go back to the Forsaken airfield and it's more or less explored at this point other than some bug fixes and whatnot. So we're going to hop into a new game and just survive an interloper in a forsaken airfield now you might remember that in the video i had before where i went in there blind i had to eventually get there from broken barrel but now you can spawn there directly so i'm going to do a new game and i would like to just do a regular interloper but as far as i know you can't actually spawn in that region by chance and so instead we're going to have to do a custom instead so we're going to do that we're going to choose interloper we're not going to change anything uh here i don't think uh yeah we'll just leave that really <laughs> it's going to be the default go in here and then Normally, when you do an interloper spawn, they spawn you in a random location in the world, but now in all regions, you can spawn in Hushru Valley, uh, Fallen Muskeg, uh, Pleasant Valley, Black Rock, Timwolf Mountain, Ash Canyon, and Desolation Point. You can't spawn in Coastal Highway, Mystery Lake, Bleak Inlet, uh, Mountain Town, or Broken Railroad. So there are a few places you can't spawn. As far as I can tell, you can't spawn in the Far Territory either. Maybe that'll change, but for now, no. So we're going to choose that. And we could spawn in Transfer Pass, but I don't see the point. There isn't really much there. Um, just like one building, really. So we're going to spawn in Forsaken Airfield. And then I'll go through everything and everything there is to see and do there. There should be matches as well in the airfield. So this shouldn't be too hard to do. There's only a couple smaller things I haven't explored. So let's hop in, shall we? Choose Forsaken Airfield. We'll do female and we're going to do we're only going to use two feats because it's basically pretending interloper and forsaken returns so we're going to hop in and we're going to see where we are all right come on forsaken airfield we are presumably by the road yeah it's like i think you always spawn here uh, because it's all the way at the end of the road uh, behind me you get to transfer pass uh, but we're just gonna run pretty much we're more or less gonna get to the airfield as soon as possible um, get matches and then go from there this is quite a bit of a <laughs> of a run really but we'll get there you see it is morning so we'll uh, continue making our way there's some rabbits hello we don't need the rabbits though I will pick up this stick to have some wood and that's about it really because it's not foggy we could take a shortcut down to the um, forsaken airfield now at this point the expansion has been out for um, almost two months there's still quite a few uh, errors in terms of uh, loot and that sort of stuff. There's some bugs around, but more or less uh, the area is known. Like I know this region fairly well. Might be one or two smaller things that I haven't explored. But generally speaking, I, I have a feel for this area, including some caves and whatnot. It's very vast. The vast majority of loot is in Forsaken Airfield itself. That's where you really want to go. The the airport, rather. 
Um, but there are some hidden gems here and there. We're gonna see if we can find those. For now, we're just gonna run. How cold is it? Minus 19, okay. So let's get there. There are some flares and stuff around too, but we're gonna pretty much just go to uh, the airport as soon as we can. The best loot is there. You can find some matches around. At the moment, you can also find a gun, which is probably not intended. You can also uh, find um, a machina somewhere. You can find uh, a hammer as well. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that I didn't get uh, stalker loot by chance. All right, so here we are. There's a long, a bit of a long run when you spawn here, really, really far. Eventually you get here. Okay. And over there is the airport and you need to follow this road. However, you can, instead of following this road, you can go down here and uh, you will eventually get to a cave. Let's see. I think maybe I should have gone over there rather than here, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll make you. And just slowly make our way down here. There we are. At the bottom of this is a cave. And there's, there can be loot in there. Okay, here comes Frostbite. So I have to be a little bit careful with that. Down we go. There's also a shortcut back up there. We'll go there later. This gets us to the airport faster. But also there is a cave down here, which I want to check out. Down here. I, th I think it's here at least. Yeah, here we are. There we are. This is one of the caves. Uh, anything in here? Frost cave. Yes. We have this. Crackers. And nothing else. Okay, so it wasn't really worth it as such. Where is my frostbite risk? Hands, I guess. Yeah, hands. We should be able to make it to the airport before frostbite hits, though. We're going to keep running. And we're going to go up over here towards the airport. Actually, no, we're going to go this way. This way here leads to the back of the hangar. So we can go in there to warm up if necessary. There should be the odd cattail on the way as well. It's perfectly possible to survive here in Forsaken Airfield. It's not too hard. Even without weapons, you can still get rabbits and deer and... Well, if you're crafty, you can get wolves, but I'm not sure if that's worth it. Grab all of this for tinder and food. In the early game especially, you want to grab as many cattails as you can. Because they are likely to be your main source of food uh, for a while. As long as I have the time to do this, of course, because I could get frostbite. How are we looking with frostbite? Ah, we should be fine, I think. I'm gonna grab all of these. The cattails weigh very little, but they give a decent amount of uh, calories. So much, in fact, that you could arguably go for well-fed right away. If I see a moose, I could possibly kill it if I get the flare gun, but I don't think. That's going to be a thing. All right, let's keep running. Grab some more of these, grab the cattails. So you can see it's uh, quite easy to do this. Probably you could also take the other the other route. Just follow the road and then eventually you get to a trailer and then the trailer you can warm up and then you can follow the road to the airport. Or take this shortcut behind this waterfall. I'll probably go there a bit later. There we are. 
lots of food so food should be fine for a while there shouldn't be any wolves there I don't think even more cattails I think we have time to grab all of this it takes a little while before the frostbite kicks in so we should be fine yes it's only like one third so we're gonna grab all of these and up this hill up ahead should be the uh, airport and there can be wolves walking around there but I don't think it's going to be an issue in general so in this run I'm mostly going to just go around the uh, the area and loot and explore a bit show you what's up with this region we'll survive a bit too but I'm not really settling in for the long haul so there's some stuff that I might not do that I normally would do like uh, harvest carcasses and things but we'll see in any case we're just gonna head straight to the airport uh, here it is so this is quite a good route so he avoids this wolf that's over there for example and then we get straight to the entrance uh, there's two entrances really uh, we'll go this way there we are and here we can go up top uh, hopefully we can see inside and hopefully we warm as well because the sun is coming up but it might be too dark all right we can see very nice uh, let's start upstairs here then um let's before i do anything i do remember that at the bottom of the stairs there was a private one so i'm just going to see if that's still there and it is fantastic great one problem though it's minus five degrees so actually because of that we are not going to loot this yet because i need fire i need to warm up first so before i loot around here i'm going to go to the control tower and loot that because that has matches so let's see no wolves good we're going to go ahead to the control tower and that's where we'll find our matches if we're lucky you can find two matches there but not necessarily. So let's see. How's the frostbite? About halfway, so I need to make a fire soon. There's rabbits. We don't need the rabbits yet. There's a lot of, like, little misc things to loot in this region. But most of it is barely worth it. In here, we can also find bedrolls. Let's do that quick. Hey, bedroll. Look at that. Let's loot this while we're at it. Nothing there. And there are peaches. And I don't think there's anything else in it. And then the matches. Matches are over here on this shelf. There they are. There you go. Matches. Thank you, Bandit. And they can also be matches over here on this desk. But it's not there today. Okay, we need some tinder. Do I have tinder? Yeah, I have tinder. All right, we need to make a fire. Uh, I'm going to do that. Um, can you make a fire in here? I never tried. I'm guessing you can't. Let's see if you can. No, you can't. Okay. Let's uh, make a fire um, downstairs then because it will warm up the interior. So we're going to go back to the, uh, the hangar and we're going to light the fire in the basement. You can't really see anything. Light the fire outside first and then bring a torch with you. We're going to go down here, these stairs here. And we can barely see anything, but I have the bedroll, so I can just do this. And then you can see I'm following the stairs down. And stairs down here should be a door. I need to open the door. And then put the bedroll down again. I'm going through the door frame. There should be some shelves or something. Or, okay, cardboard. And past the cardboard we go. And then the door closed behind me. That's a bit creepy. And then I think it's this way. Is it this way? I need to... Oh. I don't want to go away, go away. Those are the shelves, and I want to go past these things. Let me just find my way around here. Should be around here somewhere. There we are. And then over here somewhere is the forge. There's the forge. That's the forge right there. Uh, why can't I interact with it? Should be right here. Isn't that the forge? Pretty sure that's the forge. <laughs> Am I seeing things or? Now oh, this is the forge. Right, yeah. They look so similar. This is probably a water tank. This is the forge. 
There we go. All right, so let's light a fire here. Because 60% chance, so we'll use a match. The way I'm playing this is uh, more like how I would play it. It's a little bit like all over the place, running from place to place. Uh, goating and using little exploits here and there and so on. So, um, yeah, if you're playing, you might not want to play it this way. It would be easy to say, start a fire outdoors, grab a torch, get the torch down here and then see, for example. There we are, so that's lit. Grab a torch, grab the coal. This is the fourth forge in the game. This will come in handy. That must be under. Put a uh, coal in here. Make some water. Grab this as well. Let's look around first. So in here we have our bed. We don't need the bed right now. There's lots of cloth around, which is fantastic. Accelerant. I think that's always there. I could have grabbed that actually. And then around here we have coal. And that's probably it. Yeah. Memo. I think that's it. Yes. Okay. Ah, accelerant. Or rather, fuel. I think that's it. Okay, so then, uh, 10 minutes, let's see, I'm going to harvest this, and then I'll boil the water, I get some cloth in case I want to make gloves, you can see the frostbite is going down, boil dry, I'm going to make some more water, I'm just going to put a bunch of this on, so I need some torches, and I want it to burn for a little while. I need at least three torches, I guess. Okay, let's go and uh, explore some more. We'll loot some more stuff. It's only really dark down here because there's a basement, but the rest of the place should be relatively lit. It doesn't really matter if the water gets spoiled either. We can just uh, do that, but we'll be back ASAP. So, okay, so let's loot. Uh, let's do upstairs first. Let's have a look around. Anything in these? No. Let's check the cabinets themselves. We'll probably find some food, some misc stuff. Uh, anything around? Oh, stained paper. I don't think I've seen that before. Probably missed it. You can actually hear the fire burning in the basement as well. Uh, nothing around here and so on. Uh, let's see in here. There's a teddy, I think. And there's Teddy. I can't remember what we called him, but yeah. And we have spray paint. We don't need it, but I'll pick it up. Let's loot this stuff. Sewing kit, perfect. Then we can make gloves and hats so we don't get frostbite. Grab all of this, and we have the pry bar as well, so we can break this open. I need to light another torch before I do that. Now I'm no longer um, cold, so frostbite should be all right. Yeah, it's going down. I think the water is close to boiled now. So we'll loot this part. Cloth, there's so much cloth here in Forsaken Airfield. Uh, because of all the, uh, the like blue cloth that's like around. <laughs> Take that for fire. Don't see anything else. Okay, then I'll go down, I think. It's probably boiled now. Another one of these. And we'll go down to the fire. We'll prob this is where the hacks uh, uh, private was laying right here. It's probably boiled now, so I will head down and grab the water. You can check this room quickly while we're up on our way. Check this. Painkillers. 
Don't see anything else here. Anything here? I don't think so. I don't see anything here. At all. No, let's head back down. So let me turn this off. I forgot to mute my uh, social media. Let's check the uh, downstairs. Go your water, water, and then do this again. Takes 40 minutes. Yeah, so let's uh, grab one more torch then. And if this burns out now, it's okay. Nice. Let's go back up. And then I think I'm just going to let that burn out. So I don't need to go back there. Uh, unless I want to make another fire, which I might. Let's now do more downstairs on this side. So we've done this already. This is this room. That's accelerant. Uh, look at these tires. Uh, on lower difficulties, you can find knives like stuck in them. I don't see any now, though. This all looks pretty empty, as far as I can see. And here, same. I don't see anything. Yes. Looks good. I mean. And we'll check this uh, plane. You can check these hatches. Nothing there. We'll check inside. And here there is nothing. There's nothing usually in the cockpits either. So I, I'm not sure it was even worth checking the cockpits, to be honest. I, I don't think I've ever found anything here. At least not on Loper. So I don't think it's worth checking that. We'll check the hatch, though. Okay. And then there is... Uh, oh, here, yeah, this... In the helicopter, there's a bit more to loot. That was that one. Let's check this too. Open this. I don't think these open. No. Check the hatch. Nothing there. In general, they're barely worth checking. I, I, I almost never found anything in here. You occasionally get the odd random thing, you know. For the most part, it's pretty empty. Helicopters, though. I tend to not find things there either, but there is more stuff. So, here's the hatch. Mountainous rope, we don't need that. Hatch, you can open at the bottom. And you can go inside. You can open these. These. This one. That one. Hey, Wooltook. This one, and also these two. There you go. Let's check here. Put on a new torch. And check this one too. And that's it. I think that's all the like planes and things sorted. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to check downstairs on this side. Until we run out of... Hey, wool took. I mean, cotton took. I think that one's always there. I think I've never not found it. I'm going to check out the lower floors here. Uh, don't see anything here. Leather. Uh, I'll take these for tinder. I probably will make another fire. And this one burns out. Yeah, okay, I guess. I guess that's it. Let's go here and see. Yeah, scrap, we'll take that. Wood, we'll take this. I guess that's it. And then finally we have over here and then it's just upstairs left. And here we have some drawers. Let's check all of this. Even if we just find food, it's fine. 
There's a lot of loot here at the airport, by far the most loot of all of it. But it's a very good place to start because, for one thing, you find matches here always in the control tower. You can find a bedroll, which is also very fortunate. And then it's much easier to loot the rest of the, the airport, or the airfield rather. Okay, there we go. Uh, now it's just upstairs. Let's see if we can do that quick. No, I have to make a fire soon to get this torch to continue. So in here we have a hoodie. A candy bar. Bandage. Painkillers. Uh, I don't really see anything else. How much is left of this torch? Not a lot. I might, I might go outside. Just to grab some torches. Let me just quickly, just in case it's uh, windy out there. I don't want the torch to blow out. It's not windy. I was going to make a fire to grab some torches. Can I do that here on the actual walkway? That'd be funny. Oh, you can. Heh, cool. Let's just do that. And I don't need to warm up, I just want to be able to uh, get some more torches. That's all I want. Okay, try again. If this doesn't light, I need to use the accelerant. Come on, little fire. Ah, uh, okay. Well, then I have to use the accelerant. Because this is going to burn out. I mean, I don't have to use it, but it makes it easier. Okay. Grab a torch. Put on um, wood. Grab some more torches. I basically want to keep this fire going as long as I can. Or rather, this torch going. So I don't use matches. That's uh, one of the things about interlopers, especially. You want to use your matches uh, as rarely as possible. I'm going to grab more torches than this. I'm getting some good ones too. So uh, Let's put on one more stick. And then I think that's it. There we go. All right, let's do the rest of the looting now. We don't need to make a hat anymore because I found a hat. In fact, we should just put this on right now. Uh, put this on too, and then the hoodie as well. So now it should be a bit warmer. Oh yeah, we looted this. And now let's check in here. Trash can, this is, these are showers. There's usually a dead rabbit in here. It's in here. There it is. <laughs> we don't need that right now though, except for the food. So I'm just gonna leave that for, for the moment. We'll grab the water. So we have some to drink. I can grab all of it. So that's one less thing to worry about. I don't think there's anything else really around there. I could grab the carcass, but I don't really need it right now. If I wanted to go out and kill more rabbits, then I would harvest it and I would leave it to dry. But I'm pretty sure that carcass will just stay there until I interact with it. Once I interact with it, it starts decaying, I think. But even if it does disappear, it's not a big deal. It's a bit like that wolf bag in, in Ash... No, not Ash... Oh, Maple. Um, in Blackrock, by the infirmary, there is a uh, bag of wolf meat. If you don't pick it up, it will go away after like a, a day or two. More leather. Okay, I don't see... Okay, so we looted everything here now. We are done. We're gonna now loot the rest of this stuff. So we're going to grab the water, then go outside uh, and loot the remainder of the base. There isn't really much to loot as such helicopters and things, but there's a few tool chests. There's uh, uh, a few suitcases that have possibly clothing. That's the main thing we really want here. Grab this. Do for a drink there we go. And then let's grab this. Should be boiled. Thank you. How many of these do I have? 
Oh, didn't I pick one up? No, I must have left one. Okay. There we go. We're gonna get cold again soon, but that's uh, that's all right. One of the frostbite risks is gonna go down. I'll probably find the uh, gloves. And if I don't find gloves, I'm gonna make them with the cloth I harvested earlier. And then frostbite risk is pretty much done. So uh, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Let's check the car. Nothing there. Doesn't look like there's anything there. How about here? I don't think there's anything in these visors, but I'm checking anyway. I'm opening the hood to indicate that I have looted this. That's the main reason. I run a little bit and then we'll check the helicopter. Yes, it is cold. Check all of these lockers. Gloves will be fantastic. I'm not too worried about being cold, but I am worried about frostbite. But I'd rather not have that. And then we have this side. Check this. Check that. Alright, I am getting a bit tired, so I'd rather not run, but I might run, because of, uh... Can you eat trees? I'm gonna... Let's see. Let's check this, uh, plane. Uh, same thing, I'm not gonna bother checking inside. I mean, I could, but I've, I've yet to find anything in the plane, so I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna check the outside. Okay, one second. Let's check this helicopter. Hey, windbreaker. Put that on. Early game is, is great if you can find quite a lot of clothing in the early game. Because the world is much warmer in the beginning than it will be later. So the more clothing items you can find in the beginning, the easier the beginning of the game will be. Oops, I forgot to loot these ones. You can't loot the lockers above you. Oh, socks. Like these ones. And I've I've told Hinterland that they need to fix it, so either you can loot those, or they're not there, because it looks like you basically can't reach them. Put those on too. We just need gloves. I think this is, yeah. We'll make a fire if uh, I can't find gloves. Nothing so far. Oh, here we have tools. Dog food. Let's check this. Oh, it blew out my torch. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's right, we can still make a fire with the torch. Hey, another pry bar. This is why I wanted to make a fire indoors rather than here, because of this exact reason. Okay, uh, how are we looking with frostbite? We're gonna keep going a little bit. Check this helicopter too. Salute everything we can. The wind is a bit annoying, but we'll make it work. I'll make a fire outdoors this time. Another windbreaker and a rifle shell casing. Okay, that's definitely not intended. Okay. Let's see how else. Okay, frostbite risk is still a little bit away, so we're gonna wait a little bit. That's looted. Is this warm in here? Let's see. Probably not. No, it's minus three. Okay, then let's make a fire before this gets too bad. The wind is going coming from looks like this way so I think here is fine so let's just do that let's make light that torch and make a fire here 
I'm not going to use accelerant this time. On, little fire. And I'm basically doing this to warm up and prevent frostbite. And also I can craft. Let's put on a piece of coal. One of these as well. Put this down. We can't cook anything really other than the peaches. But we can do this. And while we're warming up, let's just uh we'll douse this first. Harvest this. Uh we'll eat a couple of these and have a drink. There we go. And we harvest this too. And there we go. And then we're going to loot inside. We should be warm, I think. Oh, come on. Fine. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I want to see if this is possible. I was going to try. Can that be done? So the wind is coming that way now. What about over here? Any holes in the ceiling now? Okay, okay, well there is a way, I'll show you. This is an exploit, but it is, there is a way. It's like this. You drop it on the ground somewhere where it can burn, then you right click it. Open the doors. You right click it to place it inside. Oh, did I fix that? Really? Or is it burn did it burn out? Should be possible to do it this way. Oh my god. These doors, I hate that they're close. It's a feature that I really don't like. Oh, it did blow out. Wow, they must have fixed that. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. Because normally the torch would not blow out if you do that. Okay, we're getting some cloth here. When I say cloth, I meant clothing. We don't need the toilet water, because we have enough. Let's check over here. Sewing kit. Dress shirt. Very windy out here. Socks. Okay, so we're getting stuff. Not very good stuff, but we are getting stuff. Flare shell. Cool. We'll take that. Alright, I think that's it. So let's go outside. We'll warm up and we'll eat a bit. Okay. Three minutes to boiled. So let's just eat uh, this. This. Don't give me food poisoning, please. You can get food poisoning from that. Very unlikely, but it can happen. And just eat a bunch of these. I'm gonna go for well fed right away. I'm probably gonna sleep by the trailer. We're gonna go back where we came from, probably. We'll see. Just fill your stomach up with this. It would be great if this wind could go away, but there's not much we can do about it. There we are. Uh, I'm just going to leave this to, to boil. Doesn't hurt. And then, how long to make the gloves? 37 minutes, let's go. Uh, warming up. There we go. Frostlight is cured. Except for the gloves, but now we can put these gloves on. And now Frostbite Risk is done. That's better. That's worse. I don't think any of these are better. Not really. Uh, I think it's still too windy. So what we're going to do, we're going to let this burn a little bit. Keep this fire going while we loot. Because if I light this now, I presume... It's going to blow out. Yep. 
So we're going to just check over here. We are heavy, but that's okay. We'll sleep um, here probably tonight. Might do some repairs or something. Uh, yeah, we looted this already. And then here, uh, let's see if there's anything. Nothing there. Check the drawers. There we go, all of these. On the interloper, well, you very rarely find things in these, but it's still worth checking though, because even if you find something in one out of 20, you know, it's still good. You'll find like uh, something to eat, or if you're really lucky, you'll find matches or something. So it's worth checking these things, even if you're not gonna actually use it. Did I, a uh, uh, looting bug there? <laughs> Nothing in any of them. And here, uh, nothing either. This cloth. Yeah. And let's check upstairs. A bit heavy, so I think mean, that's why. And afterwards, what I want to do is I want to go to a cave that can have a Makino jacket in it. Up here, there is... Nothing. Just this. You can find matches up here. But they're not here. So then they are most likely... They are in... Uh, over there somewhere. There is a blind. Probably going to be there. Okay, out we go. Back to the fire. We shouldn't get frostbite risk anymore. And now we looted almost everything. So we're going to go back to our little hideout. Which will also protect us from the glimmer fog should that appear. And we'll probably just rest. Uh, but first, let's check this uh, car over here. There's a couple other smaller things to check. I could do that too. Oops, I didn't mean to go in there, but quickly check in here. There is an incentive now to open the visors, but because the memento is always the same places, you don't really need to do it every time because you, you, you can learn where they are. Um, so there isn't really a need to open them every time. But of course, if you're a new player and you don't know where they are, then you should open all of them. And I don't remember where all of them are anyway. I remember where some of them are. I'm opening the hoods, just to repeat if you don't remember. The reason I'm opening the hoods is to indicate I have looted that car. This means I have been to this car, I have looted it. If, uh, for example, the hood is not up, or maybe I didn't loot the trunk or something. That looks odd, what's happened here, yeah. Some sort of rendering bug. Done and done. I think we have enough of that, but we're gonna let this. Uh, is this? I think the wind died down a bit, didn't it? I think it did. Yeah. In which case, let's see. Did it? Oh, is it still burning? Yeah, it's fine. If that's the case, I think we might just continue rather than going back down and and wait there. So I'm gonna check over here in this little shed. And then the plane. And then we'll go to probably the island cottage. And go from there. I, th I think. And here we have some more stuff. We'll check the trailer first. Because you can find combat pants in the trailer. Wood. I'll take it. And we have this burnt down thing. I don't think this is up on lower difficulties either. I think it's always burnt. And we can check this plane quickly. And then we're going to go to this trailer down there. We could maybe sleep there a bit uh, for the night. Should be warm enough. Because there you can find combat pants. And straight ahead, uh, pretty much straight ahead now, is a cottage. 
where you can find a gun, which is a bug. Then we have the island cottage, and there's a cave all the way over there, which can have a mackinaw jacket. Not guaranteed or anything, but it can have it. I'm not going to check inside. I have yet to find anything inside a plane, and there's nothing to loot there, so you have to check the floor, like if I go in here. Check the floor, you know, nothing there. So I kind of stopped looting them. <laughs> And no difficulties, you can find stuff laying about. Helicopters, though, have the containers, so they should be chucked. Okay, we are quite heavy. This trailer can be our temporary storage station. Uh, we'll just dump everything we don't need and then continue from there. There's a whole bunch of hidden areas uh, in this map. So the vast majority of the loot you want is in the airfield. And then there's some cottages and caves around that have some minor loot. There's one or two places that are always worth checking out. But for the most part, what you really want is at the airfield itself. Oops. Yeah. I forgot to... Ah, I was too slow. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Then we have to use another match then. Oh, it can wait. We don't need it right now. Jerry can! Uh, flares for Timberwolves. There are Timberwolves in this region, by the way. But um, I've only met them once. Considering I only met them once, it's possible <laughs> that it's a bug. Just because you find marine flares doesn't mean that there are Timberwolves in that region. Okay, I think we're going to actually stay here for the night to get some energy back before we continue. It's a nice day and everything, but we have no energy. So, we're going to put this as our temp base trailer by airport. Misk things there. I'm going to leave behind everything that I don't need. So we don't need, or we probably don't need that, but we'll see about that. Uh, we don't need Jerry can or this. We don't need any of these, but I'll carry one. We don't need that. We don't need the second pry bar. This we can harvest. Uh, I, well, we can carry this for the fun of it, why not? I think that's probably it. We don't need this many painkillers, I guess. Um, this is fine, we can harvest this for tinder. There we go, and I guess that's it. It will take these. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna repair some stuff and harvest some other stuff. So we have some cloth and some of that. These are decent condition, so if that's the case, I'm just gonna drop these on the ground. Uh, the crampons, do I wanna make those? Where are they? Impress crampons. Are they here? Yeah, they are, yeah. We can make those, but they don't give any warmth. They only give protection, so we don't need them. So I think we're going to drop these two. Drop all of those. And then um, we got some options here. So this is best. It's half condition, so we will repair that. Gives us more warmth. There we go, very nice. Seven degrees bonus. This one's slightly better, not worth repairing though. These are both very bad condition. Until we find something better, I'm gonna repair it. There we go, that's better. Uh, we can harvest the other one, I think, because I don't think it is better than that. It's not, so we'll harvest this. Then we will repair probably this. Yeah, I'll do that too. Light shell. If we can succeed. Am I lucky? Oh. Uh, what about here? Hoodie is alright. This one's alright. This is not particularly good. We'll harvest that. Same with socks. We're gonna harvest the bad socks. Normally I don't harvest socks, but sports socks are terrible anyway, so it makes no difference really. Okay. Uh, then. Uh, this is better like wind resistance and that, like this. So I guess we could repair this. I'm not sure it's worth it. We'll repair this instead. And maybe these, these barely give anything. The 93, this we can repair. 43, we're likely to use this for a long time. 
Right, come on, one more time. Come on, before it gets dark. Ah, oh, one more time. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Okay, so we had three failed attempts. That's all right. One more cloth left. I will try to repair this. And then it's going to be too dark anyway. Hey, we managed. Nice. Now for the rest of this, we can just harvest. And we can do this, uh, this too. And anything else? No, I think that's it. Nice. Very, very good. And then I think that is it. We can leave maybe like two liters of this behind as well. Okay, very nice. Then we're going to eat. Full stomach. We'll eat the high condition stuff. Do I have antibiotics? I do not, so I'm not going to eat the low condition stuff. Uh, oops, no, 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 no. Don't, don't open that. Eat this until you're full. We'll find more cattails soon. And have a drink. And then we're going to sleep. 10 hours. We should be warm enough. Yeah, 7 degrees. So let's sleep 10 hours. Aurora. There we go. Then I need some more. It will lighten the load as well. I was going to eat a bunch of these. If I eat the, the canned food, it will lose some of the calories. But I'll eat it if I have to, though. It's not a big deal if I lose some calories. You know, Calories are infinite in this game. So it doesn't really make a difference. There we go. And I'll sleep two more hours. And that should be it. There we go. Cross by risk, but that, that will eventually just disappear. Now it's early morning, so it's a little bit... And it's just fill up completely. Probably a bit cold still, but it's okay. I think uh, I will go to... I'm going to go to the island cottage. We'll check the other stuff later. Probably. There we are. We can go via the, um, the destroyed buildings down here. We'll grab some more cattails. I don't really mind if I get cold. As long as I can get somewhere warm. We're going to wait to go to the mindful cabin, I think. I mean, we should do it. No, no, no. We're going to do this. It's kind of like up for grabs. The best items after the uh, the airfield is, in my opinion, the, this potential Machina jacket you can find in a cave. So I really want to go there. Though we can go via this way. We're going to go up top into mindful cabin later. I've seen Timberwolves here on the snow over to my left. I never engaged with them though. There's a group of three just walking about. You can tell they were Timberwolves and not wolves because of how they were walking. Uh, there we are. Is this like Surveyor's Memory? Uh, nothing really here though. Grab the charcoal if you want. And I don't think there's anything else there really. No. And then we will leave this open area, but we are going to check out the helicopter. Is there a moose around? Doesn't seem like it. The moose can spawn here. Uh, it can also spawn... What's the other place? I think it's... Oh, I don't remember actually. There's a second spawn, but, uh, but I think it's up towards oh, the edges there. Sure, Not 100% sure, but there's two places the moose can be. I don't think it has markings either. We're getting cold, but that's alright. Should be okay. When we go to the island cottage, we have the wind with us, so that's fine. We're gonna check this helicopter over here first, because there can be a flare gun here. 
And I have a flare shell I found in the airport. So flare gun would be good. The way it works now is that there's several locations in the game that can have a distressed pistol case. And in that case, there can be a flare gun, there can be flare shells, or both, or neither. And they are all over the place. If you loot the entire world, you'll find a few of them. So they aren't guaranteed. In the past, you could always find a flare gun with flares on the summit and in the ravine. But that's no longer the case. The flare gun will be a last defense against... Well, for one thing, wolves, but mostly bear and moose, should I just happen across them. Over here, by, uh, by these, um, these rocks here, there's a hidden little mini cave. There's a little bit of warmth, but it's like a little mini refuge. It's uh, here, where you see these rose hips. This, this is where we are. Rose hips, and you go in here, and there's a little corner here. And if you're lucky, you'll find stuff here. You can even hide and be warmer, but... Uh, today there's nothing. We can grab these two for, for hot teas. Makes traveling a bit easier. Oh yeah, we'll also grab these and then we'll head out to this helicopter. It looks like we're getting a bit of a snowstorm here. Maybe a blizzard, but I don't think so. I think it's just regular thick snow. Over here is the helicopter. I think it's called uh, Last, uh, uh, Final Approach, I think that's what it's called. There we are. Final Approach, that's it. And yeah, there is actually a flare gun. So we got that. Fantastic. And inside you can check a couple lockers and things. Uh, not much though, but there's a few. You can also sleep here. It's one of those places that are in cover. So it's possible to sleep here and stay warm. Uh, not many lockers to open, but there's a few. I don't usually find anything here. I think there's, yeah, there's also one here. And here. And there's one. There's one. And then I think there's also the outside. Uh, no, they don't have those. Okay. How warm are you if you sleep here? Too cold. All right, let's continue then. We have a flare gun at least with one bullet, <laughs> one flare. We're not going to go to the uh, mindful cabin. We're going to go straight to Island Cottage. Let's pretty much just follow this road. As long as you can make it to the island that's on across the the lake. Or the, yeah, the lake, then um, you'll get to the cottage. There's also a few things to loot here in the open, but not a lot. I think we got a blizzard coming. The great thing about this map is its deceptive uh, simpleness. Because uh, this place is huge, it's huge and it's open. So you think, oh, well, that's easy. I can see everywhere when I go. Just go that way, you know? And it looks really, really easy. But then if you get a blizzard or glimmer fog or something, then suddenly you could get lost and you'll die. And you're in the open. You just have to find something. So it's a, it's a tricky region for sure. And I really like that. I think it's a great design. Right, I think there might be matches in this Hunter's Blind. Uh, we got a campfire. Okay, what's in here? No matches, unless they're invisible. Sometimes that happens. Not today, though. All right. Uh, it should be over here. Look at how vast and empty this is. You know, completely open. Now you can see the uh, island in the distance. And I mostly want to go here because of the... Um, Let's grab these. Because of the... It, it's closeness to this cave I was talking about. Here is a one of the snow shelters. I think this is always here on the map, but it varies where it is. 
<clears throat> I don't think we'll be safe in there though. A lot of people ask me about snow shelters and I almost never make them. They are good, don't get me wrong. Snow shelters are pretty strong. But on interloper they are too costly. They require cloth. Let's see what you got. Nothing. So therefore I almost never make them. If I go inside here, I'm still cold, barely. <clears throat> okay, I think it was roughly this way. Give or take. And the only question is whether I re recognize the rock as the only thing. Show the lake, yes, that's it. Uh, let's find the rock. It's best not to turn when you're in a blizzard like this in the open, just go straight. Try not to look left or right, because it takes nothing for you to lose your orientation. And then you get even more lost. Okay, here we are. Uh, I think we need to go left, I think. I don't think it's to the right. I think that leads to a cave with the wolf. I think it's this way. This should take us eventually to some stairs, which goes up to this cottage. It's quite a small, uh, small island, really. Okay, hypothermia risk is building up. I think it's this way, at least. If not, we can go all the way around. That's also an option. And climb up on the other side. Loads and loads of cattails. I'll take all of that, thank you. Uh, I have time. Frostbite can still kick in if my clothing gets frozen, so I don't really want that, of course. Let's see, is it here? I think it's here. If not, I have to go all the way around. But yeah, just hug the wall. Until you find your way up. I'm not gonna pick that up. Uh, here it is, yeah, it is here. So I was right. There's the angle where I approached it and I saw those birch uh, saplings. And I, just thought, I don't think there's birch saplings by the entrance. I don't think so. So I just, and also based on my approach from where the hunter's blind was, I was pretty sure. Uh, that it was to the left. This is a very open area. It's hard to navigate in, in darkness exactly where to go. But if you just, if you're not sure, just head in one direction straight, and eventually you'll find something. Okay, looking good. We're gonna head up top. Uh, let's just quickly see if there's anything around here. Can be stuff around here. Barrels. I don't see anything. Okay, then we're going up here. Through these stairs. Up here, through this cave we go. Up, 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 up. Let me take a left over here and we should be right here. At the island cottage. Why can't? Why am I stuck? And then before we go inside, quickly check over here on these barrels, and also these barrels for a hammer. No hammer. Okay, there can be a hammer there. Quickly check outside. Don't see anything. Then we go inside, and now we're good. Huzzah! All right. Uh, chips. We got container. There's cloth around, which we don't really need. I guess I could harvest it if I want. Polaroid. Which I think is... Yeah, I think I know what this is. Oh, I can't loot that, okay. Or did I do it already? <laughs> I'll open these. You can find water here. I don't think we need that, but how much water do I have? Nah, but you can grab water here. Not hardly anything in it anyway. That. Uh, 
it's raw. That's not good. If I light a fire, I'll take it, but for now I'm gonna leave it. We got food, first aid kit, main killers. I don't think there is anything else. Ah, matches, look at that. Hooray! More matches, almost missed that. I think that's it, I think so. These are close to frozen, so we're going to uh, sleep a little bit. Uh, yeah, we could actually harvest this. I'm gonna sleep like two hours, warm up a bit. If I start a fire, the clothes will fall faster, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, it's still a blizzard out, so I'm still gonna sleep two hours because I'm gonna be running, so it doesn't matter if it's late in the day. Still a blizzard, wow. Actually, one more hour. And then I'm gonna keep moving even if the blizzard is still up. Okay, still up. So I'm going to eat some stuff. A load of cattails. And as this full ourselves up, it makes it easier to carry stuff too. And I'm gonna go out in the blizzard because I don't wanna wait around. I don't think it's gonna last that much longer. Usually it subsides after like four hours, but I guess today it didn't. Okay, frostbite risk is going away. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna head down to the fishing hut, and then I'm gonna find my way up to the uh, cave I'm talking about. So down we go. Yeah, yeah. Down, down, down. This drift island. It's easy to get lost here, but there isn't really anything to find on this island other than the cottage itself. And down here should be the oops fishing hut somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but it doesn't really matter. I have a general idea where it is. We need to find water, and then we'll find it from there. Barely cold when we're in cover. There we are, we found water. Okay, and over here somewhere is the fishing hut. I don't remember exactly where, but I'm pretty much gonna go until I see the edge. And I'll go from there. It's, it's more to my right, I'm pretty sure. Here's the edge I'm talking about. I think this blizzard might be subsiding. Okay, so let's see if we can get to cover and I won't be as cold. That's better. And I'm gonna hug the left wall and go this way. Hey, look at this cattail. <laughs> How are you doing? And I think you should be able to see the fishing hut from this wall. But if not, it's not a big deal. And I need to find a way up to the K, which I don't think is here, is it? I don't think we can. Can we go up here? Maybe we can. This might be the way, actually. Okay, I think it is the way. Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll do the fishing out later. We're basically going to find this cave. On, we're basically now on the left side of a, of a river. And in this area, there's nothing, really, other than this cave. And in this cave, you can usually find... Uh, something. Uh, I found a Mackinac, another time I found a ski jacket, and once I found nothing. But it, it should be here. It's a bit hard to navigate in the blizzard, but it's basically a little open terrain. If you're not sure, just find the, the river, which is on the right there somewhere, and follow that. Uh, I think it's more... That's another way up. I think it's more this way. I think. If I get really lost, I will make a fire, but I think it is this way. 
think I can vaguely hear the uh, river. Yeah, I can hear the river. So this is the river, of, I mean the, the waterfall over there. So then I think it's over here. <coughs> That's a cave, I believe. It's here. Okay, I'm not sure this is the cave, yeah. Let's grab these, because I don't think... Do I have antiseptic? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, we can leave it then. Mushrooms, let's grab these for teas. Probably make a fire here. There's the cave I'm talking about. Let's grab these. Yeah, let's see what we got. What's in here, if anything? We got... Coal, flare, but no clothing. Got a bed though. Ah, oh, I was hoping for a Mackinac jacket, but I guess, guess not. Uh, we can sleep an hour here because it's actually warm. I think maybe the bedroll is warmer, but we can see. Let's see here, if I do this. How much warmer is this? It's, it's warmer, yeah. We can sleep another hour here. We'll warm up a little bit. We can avoid using a fire, I will. Basically. Okay. It's still going. I think we might have to stay the night here, or at least a little bit into the night. Uh, now it's getting cold though, so I think it's time to make a fire. Take this book, put this fire here, and light a fire. That's a shame, I really wanted there to be something in this cave. Because uh, I once found really good uh, stuff here. But today there was really nothing. At least there's a flare, I guess. Uh, let's put on one of these, let's put on this, and a few of these, because we'll probably sleep here for a little bit at least. There we go, uh, water is okay, but we can still make some water, and then I can prepare some of these uh, things. I probably will go out in the night, to be honest. There we go. Six minutes. Do that, do that. Cook one of these. One of these. Craft that. There we go. What a storm, eh? Really stormy. Yeah, we can do this, I guess. I think we are good otherwise. Yeah, I could repair this if I want. It's terrible socks, but just to do something. There we are. Okay. It's done. And we can also just pass time, I guess. I don't think we can do really anything else. Grab that. And we're just going to sleep. Let's again eat some of these to reduce how much I weigh. We don't need to use a sleeping bag because of the fire. We're gonna sleep here for a little while. There we go. Uh, yeah, and this has an hour left. I think we will put some more stuff on here. I'm gonna sleep a bit longer than that. Three hours, sounds good. Let's do it. And we'll probably just keep going, if it has stopped. Did it stop? I think it stopped, yeah. Let's grab a torch then and keep going.
I'm just gonna run because it doesn't matter if I sleep later and now we're going to go to I think the fishing hut isn't that important I guess let's see the closest thing now is a crashed helicopter uh, I think actually what we'll do is yeah we'll go to the fishing hut so this is more or less where I came from where I'm going now you can see a bit easier where I'm coming from there isn't really much on the other side here of this river really not much but there are a few other places there's eventually a helicopter which doesn't really have anything either so what we're going to do we're heading down this is where i walked, walked up this is where i went up and here's some more cattails there's a fishing head over there you can see it i probably just missed it when i went to find that wall so we're going to go and check it out quick and then we're going to check out some other minor things oops didn't mean to do that as you can see there are so many cattails in this region that you're probably never going to go hungry for a long time and even if you run out of them just you know grab some uh, grab some rabbits So we're going to check this here. Uh, it's kind of going back where we came from, but that's okay. We could do a loop-de-loop -loop and check the other fishing hut too, but I think we'll wait to do that until later. But there we are. I probably walked from there, and I walked straight past it and landed over here. So I just, just missed it. I barely missed it. There we are. Barely cold at all here. There we go. Let's see. Give me one second. All right. Let's grab these. And then let's loot inside. I don't think there's any like good loot in here really usually. But it's worth checking because it's not. Oh, I say that and then you find that. But it's always worth checking because it's not that many things to check in this area. That's good, yeah. Nice. And I think actually uh, on this side of the map there's almost nothing. There's a crashed helicopter and on this side there is eventually a cave and a crashed plane. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go this way and go around the island. Check out the fishing uh, hut that's here. And we can also warm up there a little bit. So we'll check that out and then I'll continue around the island. Oh, that got noisy suddenly. And I think I can picture what we're going to do. So we're going to do, we're going to go around the island, loot the uh, fishing hut, loot the plane crash, uh, then check out the helicopter. Then we'll go to what's called, I think it's just Justice Hovel or something like that it's called. It's like a little trailer. From there, we'll go to the shortcut. That leads back to transfer pass and from there we'll go to the trailer towards the airfield and from there we'll go to a shortcut up to mindful cabin and then we will have looted everything pretty much everything at least might be a hunter's blind or some misc things the odd corpse and so on and let's see here as you can see, there's a lot of cattails. There's the other fishing hut. There's some more cattails. Ah, oh, we got some wolves. Some wolves going about. I'm gonna scare them off though, because we want to uh, check this uh, fishing hut. Grab this one too. Ah, oh, it's two of them hidden in the grass. In still weather like this, the wolves are no problem. We're gonna scare them off with the torch and the fire. This one will detect me, yeah. 
I was going to walk past him for now. Then when he charges, he didn't charge. I'm going to run over here. Surprise, it's growth near this thing. Huh. There we are. Let's light another torch. And then we're going to scare this guy off. By dropping the torch and aiming at him. Oh, you're struggling or something. Oh, is there an invisible barrier around this fishing hut or something? Seems like that it may be what happened. Flare. Okay, nice. And I think we're actually going to warm up a bit here and we'll sleep like one hour or something. So let's light a fire and sleep for like an hour. I should have maybe picked up some more sticks, but there weren't that many. But I should have picked up some more sticks back near that cave. Alright. Uh, yeah, we'll put one of these on. There we are. Let's douse this. Let's just have a little drink here. Hopefully the weather will stay, and then we can continue. We're going to sleep for one hour. You can put this here, actually. <laughs> Looks comfortable. I'll we'll sleep for one hour. Keep going. Yeah. There's not too many more places now to explore. But there is a wolf cave over here and a hunter's blind and a wreckage. There's a few bits and bobs. We're gonna try and do all of those. get this wolf off our backs in a minute. Oh, look at that sight with the uh, the fishing hut. <laughs> we don't really need the cattails, I guess, but we might as well pick them up just to get a sense of how many there are. Oh, here's a corpse, but I think I already looted this, didn't I? Oh god, there's so many cattails, I'm not sure if I need to pick these up. As you can see, there's a lot of cattails in Forsaken Airfield. Like a lot, so you can definitely survive for a long time. Oh, I hadn't been here now. This will come in. What's best? That, mm, that's probably not better. No. Okay. And there's a hunter's blind over there. I. Think. Thing. I'll go there later though. I don't think I'm gonna pick up all the um, cattails. There's, there's, there's so many of them. We're gonna check out this cave over here called the. Um, I don't remember the name of it. There's a wolf carcass in there. Let's go check that out. And then there's a helicopter crash over there somewhere. There's a bear cave, and then the plane crash, and then. <laughs> I think that's it on this side for now. I'm pretty sure that this area will become more and more interesting the longer the DLC is developed because at the moment there are not that many secrets and stuff here but I'm pretty sure that uh, this God, area freezing. will have more secrets in it once more DLC comes out. Because of things like, um, uh, I was going to say, I don't think I remember getting a hacksaw. <laughs> uh, because of things like the radio and the tail and some other things. So I'm pretty sure that 
Um, if we skip ahead six months, there'll be a lot more things to find in this area than there is right now. So if you're watching this video before part two of the DLC comes out, which is late March 2023, if you're watching it before then, then what you're seeing is what the area is now. If you're watching this after, or if you're watching this in April 2023 or later, then you're probably seeing what this area used to be as opposed to what it is now. Right. Archie. He had a little fight with a wolf, it seems. Uh, we are a bit cold, so I think we are going to start a fire here. We might sleep uh, an hour or two. Get some warmth back. This is presumably on, a sheltered sir. area. I don't think there's anything really here. Let's see how much coal and stuff do I have? Six. Put one of these and put two of those. Yeah. And we'll do this. And that's water. That's okay. Let's harvest this bad torch. And we'll sleep two hours. We'll get warm. Have some time. Let's see. morning yeah I think that's good enough let's actually um, warm these up I'm not gonna drink the rice sheet tea I don't think let's repair this I'll cook it later Grab a torch, grab these, and let's go. Okay, so now I want to go to the crashed plane that's down here. Looks like we have fog that's kicked in. Don't think it's... is it super windy? Looks like it might be very windy, let's see. Mm, no, it's barely. Okay, I think the plane crash was over here somewhere. This is very risky to do if you don't know the map that's running into <laughs> the empty pit of fog. I think it's roughly this way. Then it over there? Don't think so. It looks like rock. Uh, must be more to the left. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, must be more this way. There it is. Yeah, I see it. Let's drink this, the rose tea. I'll warm up a bit. There we are. I don't have that much health, so I might as well try and be a bit careful. Let's have a look at this plane. This plane is a bit disappointing on Interlope, but there's hardly anything there. Uh, sometimes I find a book or something, but usually there's very little here. Uh, on lower difficulties, I found a bit more stuff. So here we got feathers. Corpse, anything else? Nothing on the corpse. I'll we'll check the hatch. Nothing there. You don't really get stuff in the hatches. An interloper. I can't feel my hands. And we might as well check inside the plane if we are at it. But there's nothing here. No. Okay. Then I want to check out this helicopter. That's behind this hill over here. 
Wait, do I have both Polaroids? No. <coughs> I think it's roughly this way. We get to some rocks and then there's a helicopter. And there's also a bear cave we should check out. Do I, if I don't warm up the bear soon. cave is... I think it's more this way. I think it's these tall rocks over here. And there's a bear there that's stuck. Uh, I think it's here, I think. So there's a cave here, which is some misglute. And there's a bear guarding it, but the bear, <laughs> as of this video at least, the bear is bugged. He can't get out, he's stuck on this rock. So he's completely harmless, but in the future that's something they're probably going to fix. And he can actually attack you. But it should be right here. Bit hard to see, but this looks like the texture is slightly different than what's around us. I think this is the cave. And above me, right here, there's a traversable area, which I call Pride, Pride Rock, because it looks like Simba's thing. But, um, but there's nothing there yet. Let's see, is the bear here? There he is. See, the bear is sleeping. He's right there. Buggy bear. He's having a little snooze. Just, uh, yeah, had a busy day, you know. Sleeping about. A bit tired, a bit hibernated. <laughs> but the bear is stuck. It's a bug at the moment, he's just stuck there. Even if he wakes up, he can't get to me. It's just a glitch. They'll fix that though, it's not gonna be like that forever. Okay, uh, we might want to warm up here again. Because it is quite cold, so I might sleep here an hour. To warm up a bit and then keep going. If I was full health, I would just keep going in the cold, but because it's dark and I'm cold and I don't have that much health, I think I'd rather do this. Let's sleep for an hour. Valid location. It's just. I know it's ice, but pretty sure we can still place this. That's weird. Okay, well. We'll find someone nearby then. <laughs> That's just weird. You can't place it because it's ice? Is that it's what's going on? It's just odd. Okay, fine. We'll figure something out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Add it there for a second. There we go. Then <laughs> we go here and we sleep for one hour. All right, let's see. That's better. See, that worked. I'm not sure that's intentional or what, but that was a bit odd. Let's do the same thing. Uh, let's make the this tea here and warm this one up. Put one stick on, and let's harvest this one. And just while this is cooking nine minutes, let's just eat stuff. Let's eat... Mm, well, I guess we'll eat these. Because um, I don't have can openers, and I don't want to eat stuff that's low condition until I'm sleeping somewhere safe. In case I get food poisoning. Let's eat a bunch of these. There's so many cattails since the second airfield. As you can see, I'm skipping a lot of them. I'm not even picking everything up. And this is so many. Like, you can easily just... If you use the starvation tactic, you could probably get there on Interloper and easily survive 50 days just on cattails. This is so many of them. Right, give the rest. Okay, let's go. And then the bear is outside. Now I can see a bit better. He's still sleeping. Having a little bit of a dream time. How are you doing? I'll see you in the future when you're no longer bugged. 
Okay, over here there should be a crashed helicopter. Above us there is a way to traverse these rocks, but there's nothing there. Nothing, nothing to find. More cattails. You see these rocks here, you can get up these rocks and you, it leads you to a plateau with a little, like a little cave and there's nothing there, no loot at all, uh, which is weird. Even on Pilgrim, there's, there's nothing up here, but presumably that's because that area will be used later. So if you have the radio, maybe the radio leads you up there or when they add a cougar, the cougar will be there. Could be a cougar nest, you know? That's possible. Right, let's see, the helicopter is somewhere here. I think it might be over here. Should be pretty easy to spot because it's orange. I can't feel my feet. Hmm. I thought it was here, but maybe it is more this way. We'll go and check. And here comes the cold again. Let's drink one of our teas. I want to save at least one Raishi tea for later, just in case I get food poisoning, because I don't have antibiotics. I want to make sure that I can actually cure it. Let's see here. In this path. I don't think there's anything up there either. We'll do a little round trip here. There's a lot of li little hidden areas that I think are to be developed later for the tails they're adding, uh, here's the helicopter, uh, or the cougar. I mean the cougar will be on top here and on these rocks I think. That's a deer over there I think, yeah. Let's keep this fire burning. I should really pick up more sticks. Yeah, this helicopter also is not that great. I mean, I'm gonna check it, but an interloper, I don't think I've ever found anything here. I think maybe once I found a beef jerky or something. And that's about it. The loot wise, most of the loot you find here is um so hey, gloves is, is in the cabins like of the airfield not so much around in the world nothing there let's check these two okay. the shoes huh and then uh, the other hatch there we are. Cured rabbit pelt. Wow, that is random. I don't think I've ever seen that before <laughs> in those things. Okay, now we have looted everything that there is to see on this, I was gonna say western area, but I guess it's the eastern area. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head towards, I think it's called mm, Jun, Jun? Junty's Hovel or something, which is the only other indoor area in the game, in the in the region rather. Where we can sleep there and warm up and stuff. Because there's actually not many loading screens in this region. So when you go indoors, mostly you're actually entering an outdoor location that is warmer, like equivalent to the Mountaineer's Hut. Um, there are a few exceptions though, like the uh, hangar in the airfield and the trailer near the entrance to the hub and then there's something called Junty's Junty's hovel or something over here is the other one and I think we're actually going to stay there to recover some health um, and maybe get well fed and then we continue I know what the Polaroid I'm missing is. It's in the truck. I haven't been there yet. So this area I really like is is vast and open. I, if I describe it in one way, it will be deceptively open. 
because it looks easy, but it's just really, really dangerous here. Okay, I'm very low on health and I'm getting cold. I think we'll be all right as long as I get to this um, hovel. And if not, I'll have to stop and make a fire. It is also early morning and early morning is quite cold. Let's see, it, I don't know exactly where it is, but it's up here somewhere. It's like a, kind of like a trailer. We want to go there and, and warm up. And sleep also, I think we'll probably sleep uh, throughout the day. Should be at the top, I think we can get there without the fire, but maybe I should just not risk it. Let's just make a little fire here. Let's just uh, play it a bit safer. Let's warm up a bit. And then we'll continue. One little fire. Then we'll take we'll take a day to recover some health because we're losing a lot of health right now. Just exploring. Oh, lucky day. I'll put two on. Let's break this down. Can we actually map this? That's our water. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, we can. Nice. <laughs> right, uh, we'll make some water while we're here. And let's also break something down, like some cloth. Mm, can I repair that? No. This takes too long here, yeah, way too long. We can now break this down. There we go. Uh, this also probably. We can wait though. There we are. I'm just going to take this and a couple good torches. And then I'm going to keep going. Sorry, one more. There we go. All right, let's continue to the hovel. Slow down the health loss a little bit. I think it is just up here. It's not too far from the airfield itself. Just kind of hidden. And then from the hovel, we're going to take the shortcut back to the uh, main entrance to the airfield. And then from there, we'll go to mine all cabin and a couple secrets along the way but then there isn't really much else to see for now there's a lot of little areas to explore little caves and things but many of those caves I think will be used later there's a lot of areas in this region that are to be found like a little corner or a little cave or a plateau that is clearly intended for you to find and go to, but when you go there, there's nothing there, even on lower difficulties. So I'm pretty sure those areas are to be used later, because otherwise it seems strange. Why would they add so much terrain and the only places for you to go when there's nothing you can actually do once you get there? So I'm pretty sure that this area is just going to get better and better with time. Uh, the more the release of the DLC, the more interesting this region is going to become. There's going to be more and more I'll stuff to it. Right here. <clears throat> All right, here we are. I saw a wolf here, so let's just be careful we don't get eaten by the wolf. There he is. Yeah, I'm not too bothered about you. And here is the, the hovel. Never felt so I think it's called life. Just Justy's Hovel. I think it's called. Let's get this wolf away. My one flare. Yeah. All right. So this is the third indoor location that I can think of. Yeah. So the hangar, this one, and the trailer are the only three places where you go, and you actually have a loading screen to go indoors. But then you also have the mindful cabin and the island cottage, as well as a bunch of caves that also give warmth. But there's actually very few places here with an indoor location. This is one of them. 
Right, so here there's usually a bit of coal and some food, not a lot. And that's about it. We have very low health, <laughs> so we're gonna actually spend, I think, a day just recovering here. For a quick look around. I haven't really checked these yet. See if there's anything inside them. I don't think there is anything. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take a day here to just have a break and recover some health. So first, let's have a look around. Uh, truck. Hey, ski jacket, handy. that's awesome. Take the tinder plugs. And... Thing there. And there we go. And I think we're gonna douse this. And then I'm going to sleep like three hours. And then we'll do some crafting and repairing and whatnot until it's dark and then we sleep. That's the idea. So let's see here. How much cloth do I have on me? Five. Okay, so let's see here. I'm pretty sure that this is better, yeah. And then here. Uh, I'm not sure actually if. 26 is 85. I think actually this is better. We repair it. Let's try and repair it. Yeah, nice. I would do anything for a drink. Yeah, sli right slightly better. Let's also have some food. And I'm not going to go for food poisoning here because it's too risky with I have so low health. So I was going to eat a bunch of these again. And we're not too far away from well fed, so we should be alright. Let's see. Then have some water. And let's do some more repairs. So let's see here what we got. That can be repaired. These two. This can be repaired if we break these down. We'll do that later. Uh, the rest is actually okay. I guess repair this then. I don't usually repair things until the very low condition. But in the early game I make exceptions. In the late game I only repair things when the repair amount is less than 100% usually. So for example here, um, if you look, it's 66 and then if you repair it, it repairs 34. At some point, however, this amount plus this amount will equate exactly 100 or less, so like 99. And that's when I usually repair things in the late game because that's when you maximize the amount of repairs from clothing or cl cloth. Uh, at this point in the game, you kind of like wasting if you want to call it that some cloth by repairing it now however because it's early game and you want to have as much warmth as possible i don't really mind repairing them now um there isn't really much to repair though we might as well do it just to give ourselves a slight edge there's a lot of cloth here in forsaken airfield anyway especially in the airfield itself there's a lot of it uh this needs repairing, but we can't do that until later. Uh, how much difference is it? Uh, I think maybe I would switch them anyway, but we'll see. Uh, let's harvest some stuff. Let's harvest this. I'm getting tired. And we can maybe repair the gloves. We get two attempts, basically. Let's see. Yeah, so see, this is what I was talking about earlier. See, so if I repair it now, 65%, right? And we repair 25. That means that it will be 90% when I repair it. So now it's worth repairing it because you're utilizing the maximum benefit of the leather or cloth. I failed. But if this had said, for example, 35%, that means that, yes, I repair it to 100%, but it's possible that... It could have been lower condition. I can get more value out of it, if that makes sense. In the late game, I usually only repair things when they are quite low condition. Sometimes there are exceptions like these and air wraps, just because they're rarer. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to switch these. Diving gloves aren't great or anything, but the, this is something. I'm going to repair. Uh, is this even better than this? I'm interested in just checking to see what happens. I, never, I can't remember last time I compared those two. And we're leveling mending anyway, so. I think it'll be too dark now. All right, let's see. So what's the difference here then? So they're the same, but colder. More water resistance. Okay. In that case, we don't need it. Uh, for me, the most important thing is warmth. The other things like protection and wind resistance, all that stuff, don't need it. I'm gonna harvest this. Warmth above all. On lower difficulties, it's a bit different. But on interloper, warmth is the main thing. All right, so we're gonna sleep now. Let's eat some more of these. I'm gonna sleep to recover as much health as possible. I don't think I have any teas, do I? No. If I had more health, I would eat some of these low-condition foods, but I'm not going to right now. Yeah, and now we're going to sleep and recover health as much as we can before we continue. About Ten hours. Okay. <clears throat> right. Oh, yes, we are well fed. Fantastic. That's really good. Really good. Sounds like a blizzard outside. Yeah. And let's eat some of this. As well stay on top. Well fed is great because now we have a bit more health and we can carry more stuff too. Although there isn't that much more to loot in this area really. Cattails mostly. I'm gonna wait this blizzard out. There we go. Can also repair something maybe. Uh, we could repair. We could repair this. It gives 0.4. Might as well. Yeah. Helps. So now we are plus 10 warm phones. That's pretty good. I sleep three hours. Hopefully the place ends. think it did. <laughs> okay, we have lots of space as well. Yeah, all right. We could grab the cloth, but we don't really need it. Let's also map this, actually. Yeah, that's where we are now. We're gonna go this way over here. Okay, let's just warm up quickly. Little bit foggy, but not too bad. Now we're here. There is a oh, barely cold. That's fantastic. Now we have there's a rope, which we might as well just climb down. This deer, rabbits. And I think it's over here, or maybe it's a bit. Uh, it might be this way actually. There's a rope anchor and you can climb down it and you get to basically the entrance of a shortcut back to the hub, which is quite handy. And that's also where you do the Polaroid. There's like a hidden little route. There's another hidden route in this uh, region, which leads past the, I think it's called Stony Path or something. It basically leads to the Mindful Cabin Faster. We're going to do that as well. There's the rope anchor. Guarded by this doe. <laughs> it's getting a little bit stuck, I guess. Hi there. Now we can just climb it down, that's fine. Doesn't take much um, stamina to climb down. I'll start at the bottom as a rabbit. I mean, down a rope is usually not particularly tiring. Climbing up is the issue. 
Okay, so we can't see it, but pretty much actually it's better. Pretty much down here is the airfield. And we're not gonna go there exactly, we're gonna go this way. And to our left, half this rope. Here. There's a path, see this? This is immediately next to this rope, just around the little corner. Just, uh, just over there is the airfield. And if you go up here, you get to the vista location. And it also, this path eventually leads all the way back to the hub. So it's like a mountain shortcut. Hopefully not guarded by cougars in the future, but who knows. I think it's right here. It's a bit, a bit further. I think actually you can map because it's not too foggy. Anyway, after this little climb here is where you get the Polaroid. Yeah, let's climb up that. Uh, I think it's here. Right here, here we are, Vista location. So this is... There we are. This is um, this one, this part here. The part where we found in, was it the cottage we found it? I think we can map, yeah, we can. And you get this, there you can see the airfield. More cattails, a bunch of plants, saplings. I don't know if I checked this one, but it's usually nothing there. And now we're going to go along this mountain path all the way back to the road. And this leads, um, there's a few couple branches here, but you can, um, it, it, it's pretty linear. So for example here, I think it's here, you can go this way or you can go, I think it's this way. Yeah, and they all lead, they all lead the same place. It's just two different routes, really. So you can pretty much just choose which one you want to take. It's this little circle. At the moment there's nothing here. No wolves, bears, anything. Uh, I think there's some rabbits at some point and that's about it. And this is a little loop, but there's nothing really to it at the moment at least. So how you end up at this little river here. I grab these in case I need to make a fire. I'm doing pretty well with health right now and it's not cold. There yeah, and then you get, so this way here, this is, if I hadn't taken that right earlier, I would have come this way. And this, this way, and this way leads to the same place. But then this way here is above the road. The below, below us now, I think is the road. Yes, so you can see the road, right? So this is pretty much the entrance to the region. And you could hop down here if you really wanted to, but it's a bit risky. This is a one-way trip. You can't really get back up here. I mean, you can, but you have to be a bit crafty. You have to like do a jump. Uh, yeah, so it can be done. <laughs> but I'm not sure if that was intended or not. <laughs> Uh, if not, I think it was meant to be a one-way street, <laughs> but you can get back if you really want to. Okay, but the reason I say it's a one-way street is because of what's next. So around here, there is now a path. I think there's nothing over here, but over here there is. This leads down towards the road. It's like a climbing area, which we're going to skip. And here's the same. And you have this thing here. A road should be below us again. Yep. And then you get to this area. And there's rabbits. Uh, usually there's a deer carcass here too. I think it's a little cave. Is there a little cave here? Um, no. Well, let's map out where we are so you can see. I'm starting to feel numb. So now we're here, right? We've come, we've gone from Justice Hovel down this, and then like in a zigzag, and then down like this, uh, over the road, then back over the road, and up here. Pretty much what's happened. Getting cold, but 
not terribly cold. And if you keep following this, it's fairly linear. You can't really take a wrong turn because it doesn't really allow you. You get to here. And this is the way down to the road. There you are. Now if you go down here, it's pretty much a one-way street. Go down, and now you're back at the road. And if you go this way, you end up back at the hub, the transfer pass. Right? If you go this way, you continue on to the airfield. And this is a one-way street. You're not meant to be able to go back up here. You can do it though. Um, it can be done in different ways. You can, for example, go on top of this um, tree here. Um, then you can get as high as you can. Go on to this, I think it's this branch here. Just run. And then you go on the right, left end, and you, then you're up, see? So, yeah, it is possible to get up here. <laughs> so if you would like to take a shortcut back to Justice Hovel, you can do that. I don't, that's definitely not intended. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Oh, okay. It was the opposite of what I said. This is the transfer pass, yeah. I'm not going to check that out though. <clears throat> yeah, so it's the opposite of what I said. I said it was this way to transfer pass. It's actually this way to transfer pass. So when you come out of transfer pass, you see this right away. And this is pretty much where we spawned as well. And now we're going to take uh, this road. And now we're going to follow this road all the way to, um, to the trailers. Because when we spawned, we spawned uh, here, and I took this route, but I ended up going down into this cave, and I skipped part of the route. Wait, it was so cold. I'm warming up a bit. But uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to go to this trailer, and we might actually stay in the trailer to warm up, cover some health, wait until next day. I'm doing a lot of running as well. If this was a let's call it a normal interloper run. I wouldn't be running this much. Um, I would be running still because I want to get to a warm location as soon as possible, but I wouldn't run as much as this um, because in this video, I'm kind of just going over the entire region as much as possible. So I'm not really, um, I recognize this, eh? <laughs> I'm not really surviving as such. But you easily could survive in this region for a long time with interloper. You just spawn here, you get the flares, the matches, and if you go with starvation tactic especially, you can just survive for ages, ages with um, the cattails. If you find the maglens, you could probably survive forever in this region. Did I, did I find a maglens? I don't think so, no. I don't think there is a maglens spawn here, but maybe you can find one in one of the cabins. Right, so we're gonna continue now following this road. I'm just gonna get cold and warm up in the trailer. And now we're warming up anyway, kind of. I think when we're protected, we'll warm up. Let's see. There we, yeah, there we are. Yeah? No, this side. There is a, the, it's kind of, can't make up its mind, but <laughs> it's borderline warm. We're going to go to this trailer and there's a Polaroid there, which we're going to get. And then we're going to take a shortcut to the Mindful Cabin. And there's a couple of caves there too. We're going to check those out. And then after that, we've kind of done everything. There's a few bits and bobs, but that's about it. The game can't decide if I'm in a cover or not. <laughs> this is where we were right in the beginning. Uh, you recognize this? This is where we spawned. Well, not spawned, but we ran here after we spawned. And then what I did, there's the airfield. I, I climbed down here, right? I took this shortcut down into that cave and I started collecting cattails and I ran up. I collect, I checked this cave that had nothing, got cattails. I ran up this way here along there and into the airfield, which obviously is much faster and warmer in the long run. But normally I'm meant to take this route here wheelie's turn and over here there is a cave 
we might as well check out the cave. And if you follow this road, it eventually takes you to a trailer. And outside that trailer, there's a few trucks. And one of those trucks has a Polaroid. Then you can keep following that road. And it will eventually split where going right goes to airfield and left goes to a cabin. Oh, there is a shortcut to the cabin, so we're not going to do that. So here's the cave. There we are. Uh, let's see if there's any loot there. There is. Coal. Granola. And I think that's it. Let's uh, map it. Yeah, so that's where we are now. We need to continue this way. We're going to sleep here for one hour. Just to warm up a bit. I think. Okay. Yeah, warm enough. Now it's later in the day anyway, so we should be fine. Although the wind now is colder. Out here is still kind of warm. And cover we should be warm. There we are. Plus four. Nice. We're just going to continue going along this road. Until we get to the trailer. And then we'll just... We'll, we'll stay there for the night, I think. Recover some health and fatigue and everything. Then we'll continue on to the cabin. But there should be a gun, by the way. There's a gun in that cabin. Still check these things out of habit. And that gun is uh, not intended. So at the moment, as of this version, part one of the DLC, there's quite a few loot bugs on Interloper. In Interloper you can find all sorts of things that wouldn't usually be an interloper. So I found MREs, I found peanut butter, I found cardboard matches. All of those things should not exist on interloper. And most importantly, I have found a gun. Uh, I haven't found a rifle, although I found rifle ammo, but I found guns in two different locations, uh, HRV and here. And some people say, and also a hunting knife, which also shouldn't be there. And some people have said that uh, the weapons may have been added to interloper to give them a sense of rarity that these things do spawn an interloper that, but they're very rare and while that is possible it's I don't think that's true because one of the core principles of interloper is that you do not have weapons other than the bow that you find as in you don't have firearms rather so I don't think they would add something like that, but ne even so, um, there was a post by Hinterland in the forums where they explained that there are loot bugs in the game right now, and in particular they said if you find things like weapons, they are not supposed to be an interloper. So that leads me to the believe that the, the revolver and such that you find an interloper right now, that's not intended, that's, that's a bug. This has happened before when they released Hushed River Valley as a region back in 2018. Maybe it was late 2017, I'm not sure. Uh, it was the same thing happened. You could find a revolver on the interloper, which they eventually patched away. So I think it's the same here. All right, as you can see, this, this road is very long. So if you spawn here and just run, 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 you eventually get here to the trailers, but it's exhausting. That's why that shortcut I did is quite useful because it's um, it's less traveling that way. But here is the third indoor location of the game uh, that has a loading screen. So there's this trailer, Jun Junty's Hovel, and also the hangar, and that's it. The rest are interiors. Here's the oak trees. I think I said in a the video they only found a hub, but that's not true. They are found here too. And over here it's pretty much just this trailer and some trucks. And there's a deer carcass as well. And I think we're going to stay here for the night. And on lower difficulties you want to check these pipes, because there can be lo loot inside of them. But in Tlopa there isn't usually anything. But we got some coal, which we'll take. 
don't think there's anything here. Uh, oh, it's a note. We'll take that, I guess. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Uh, but this truck over here has a Polaroid. Uh, here we are. That's the other Polaroid. Which is in the mindful cabin, which we're going to go to anyway. So that's uh, over there. And we are right now, like, over here or something. In fact, we could maybe map this. Yeah, so we're here. And we're gonna go up there. Yeah. We can check here quick. All right, it. There's nothing here but uh, habits. This has been looted, so open that. This has been looted, so open that. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna stay here for the night. Got a workbench here too that's worth mentioning. That there's a workbench here, so it's quite handy. I think now I might eat some of the lower condition food, because I don't mind if you sleep longer anyway. So I might give myself food poisoning now. Or rather, potentially food poisoning. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that now. So let's eat the low condition food. Uh, not that. We'll eat this. And these. Not the dog food because I would have to smash open. This one too. Uh, might not be getting food poisoning after all, I guess. Nope, okay. Speak for 10 hours. Eat some more and drink some more. And then we'll continue. Even, even if it's dark, we'll continue. And we don't need to carry this stuff, but. And let's leave two more hours. Wish I had a storm lantern, but oh well. we'll use a torch. going to go out anyway. Yeah, so we can't see much, but I'm going to light this just for really uh, you, the viewer, so you can see a bit better. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take a shortcut to the mindful cabin and check out some caves along the way. So here, if you follow this road, it leads to the airport. There's this turn in the road, right? And then it continues down this path. Eventually, if you follow this path, you'll see a sign that says to the right is the airport and left is the cabin. Or I don't show the left is anything. And there's a car there too. And that's the way to the airport and eventually the cabin. And it's a road that's like out in the open. What we're actually going to do is, after you take this turn here, turn in the road, and you see this stretch, instead going to take a left, uh, it's up. I believe it's up here. Yes, here. If you go up here... You get to a passage. I think it's called Stony Passage. And this leads behind the waterfall. And through to the other side. There we are. And sometimes there's a corpse here too. Which there is. Yeah, stony passage. Petro chips and shoes. Of course. And then you just continue along this track. I'm just gonna run for the sake of time and also eat. And it's quite a long passage. But when you get to the other side. You get on the other side of the waterfall, and you're much closer to the cabin now. 
Oh, look at that. That was a bit of a bug. Look, look how bright it looks outside. It's actually nighttime still. You go outside and it reverses. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Here we are. This is also kind of like a one-way thing. I think maybe you can go here, actually. No, it's also like a one-way. Yeah. And before we continue, now you want to go left. But before we go left, we're going to go right. Check out the waterfall. Because there is a corpse down here. You can go down this path here. And by the waterfall itself, it's going to be loud, by the way. There will be a corpse. Or at least there can be a corpse. Just going to check that out quick. Might have to make a fire. Uh, I think it's... Hmm. Maybe there isn't one today. No, okay, well there can be one. We're gonna go back and to get back out you can just walk back up here. It's steep, but you can go there. You can also go down this uh, river and eventually you come up back out at the airfield. We're gonna just go up here, you can see there's grass suggesting you can walk there. There we go. And then basically gonna head to the mindful cabin now. But there are two caves. So there's a one on the way. We're going to do that too. So this puts us closer to the cabin than if we had followed the road. Because we basically don't have to go out in the open. Alright. Once we're at the cabin, then we pretty much have been everywhere. I'm going to keep running because it's cold. Basically stick to the left and you can't get lost. Because eventually, like, if you can't go more left then you're at the wall, so just keep going. With the left wall next to you. Right now you can't see much, but the sun is coming up. And we're soon gonna get to like a slope going up a hill, which we need to take to get to the upper levels. Because we're a little bit on the lower levels right now. But we need to go up here basically. Uh, I think you can actually go this way, can you? I think you can, yeah. I'm not sure that's intended or not, but I'm gonna go this way. Because of the upper levels, there are. T I think there are two caves. One is hidden, it's at a lower level, and one is, I think, a regular cave. Yeah, there we are. Let's, we need to go up further. We're not high enough yet. I think this might be high enough. Or maybe it's a bit more. Yeah, it's a bit more, I think. Unless I'm going in circles, I don't think so. <laughs> but maybe I am. Let's see. I've only done this once before, so I could be misremembering, but I think there is a cave around here. To look for it, but I think it is here. I think this is it. Yep, there we are. There we go. There's another wolf carcass, Rip's Cave, and an unfortunate soul. And inside here, some coal. We're gonna sleep here, get some energy back, and warm up. So let's uh, put this down and then sleep for a few hours. Come on. 
And then there's another cave, which I've forgotten what's called. Damn I think it. it's called um, Sunken Cave or something, which is a bit hidden. I'm gonna go there too. As you can see, these most of these caves don't really have much going for them. They just have a, a corpse, but some of them have beds and they have wolf carcasses and stuff like that. Oh, wow, come on. 80% chance and you failed three times in a row. He also does like 1 in 5, 1 in 25. Uh, 1 in 125 attempts or something. <laughs> Alright, you got a lot of coals, but three of them on. And then sleep for three hours, I'd say. Hopefully we'll have a nice clear day. We can continue. I'm gonna wait for this fire to burn out as well, because I would like the charcoal. Oof, it's windy. Okay. In that case, we'll keep sleeping until it's clearer. There's no point continuing if it's a blizzard. Yeah, still a blizzard. If it's still a blizzard, we'll make some water. Yeah, okay, well, let's just make water then. Yeah, we're just gonna keep making water. Wow, this is a pretty long blizzard, really. I think this is enough water, to be honest. Ah, let's do one more. One more. Blizzard just won't relent. Come on. Go away, Blizzard. Come on. Wow. I was gonna pass time, I think. I don't think there's anything else to do. We can repair stuff, I guess. Yeah. We'll eat. Let's eat a bunch of these. I'll just pass time until I want the fire to burn out, but not until the blizzard's over. How's my matches actually? Okay, we got 19 of them. time now. Last time for one hour. Would be nice if this ended. Come on. This is a long, long blizzard. A really long blizzard. I'm not gonna sleep because if I have to stay here I will. This is a really long blizzard, wow. It's gonna get dark now. Wow, and it's still going. It's still going, the blizzard. Still going. Okay, we're gonna have to stay here then. Nothing really more we can do. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait this out. There's no other way around this, really. I mean, we can go out, but it, uh, I know where to go, but it's easier to go out when it's not a blizzard, so you can actually see what I'm doing. The 
let's have a drink and a sleep. And we'll stay here as long as we need to, really. Three hours. This blizzard has lasted like soon almost an entire day. Yeah, it's still going as well. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. And to sleep for one hour. Okay, I think it's finally ended. Did it end? Finally ended. Okay. I'm gonna grab two torches and then I'm gonna wait for this to burn out. So that I can grab the charcoal. Do that. Yeah. Can even do this. Ah, too too low visibility. Okay, that's all right. Now it's uh, night time, but it's clear. There we are. So that's one of the caves. You see, it's quite hidden, but it's safe, and it's at the end of this plateau. Like you can't get up this way over here. Well, I think there is a rope anchor here, if I remember correctly. I think there is a rope anchor. Uh, or was that somewhere else? I don't know, somewhere else. There's somewhere else there's a rope anchor. It might be further up. There is somewhere you can attach a rope. Anyway, so that's kind of like a little hidden cave there that you can go to. And it's fairly safe. It's just a little bit out of the way. One of those areas we wouldn't often go to. I'm kind of surprised there isn't a memento hint that leads there. Okay, we're going to head to the mindful cabin now via this other cave again if you're not sure just stick to the left and you will eventually find your way around right now it's night again but it is pretty clear the clear day oh well, not clear but still we should be able to see east in the mount This might be where the rope anchor is. Yeah, I think it's it. I think it's up there. Is that there? I think if you go over the slope, it leads nowhere. I think. I think there's a rope anchor around here somewhere. It might be up there. I'm not 100% sure. I never attached the rope, so I can't remember Did exactly. I, I hate being cold because I really do. And then here, uh, there should be a slope going up, I think. I think it's a bit further. I don't think it's that. It's a bit further. I kind of gone down to the lower levels again now. Yeah. Can be a bear around here, so be a bit careful of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, over here somewhere is like a little mini cave that's possibly a cougar spawn in the future, but nothing there right now. But oh, this is the rope anchor, you can see it actually. You can see it. And then. Right there. That's the rope anchor. That's the other plateau you want to go up. If you get a rope, you can put it there. We don't have one, so we're going to go around. I mean, I mean, if we had one, you know, we need to be up there. So this area, this sort of western area of the map, has a lot of caves and things like that. But not much more than that, really. A lot of mis mini loot. There's also a couple cars we haven't been to. There's a couple of places in the open we haven't been to. Oh, I think we can I think we can go up here. Maybe not. Okay. Guess not. Running out 
have torches in. But there's a couple small areas I haven't been to in this run, but it's not much to it. And okay, now we're getting close to the cabin. To our right. Uh, can't see it because the fog, but up here there's another cave and then that's it. Then there's the cabin and then we're done. Other than like, there's a couple smaller hills we didn't go to. There's a lot of cattails along the river. There's uh, at least two cars I didn't go to. I guess that's it really. Right up here we go. And then I think it's over here. There is another cave. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this. Now we're at the top level and over there is the rope banker. To our right is the cabin eventually. Over here, I think, I think it's there, there's a hidden cave. It's very easy to miss because it doesn't look like there's anything here. But if you get close, you'll see there's like a gap. And then you realize that underneath here, there is a cave. So here's the last cave down here. Here we go. That's kind of hidden, isn't it? Kind of neat. There we go. <laughs> Sudden washout. That's what it's called. And uh, before you ask, uh, no, you are not protected against the glimmer fog down here. So the glimmer fog, you know, it says you have to go underground in order to reduce the insomnia risk. This doesn't count as underground, even though it maybe should. But it doesn't. Come on, little fire. And now after this, there's just the mindful cabin left, really. <laughs> Gosh, a lot of failed fires. That's it. Oh wow. The one that was. didn't work. Come on, Astrid. You can do this. I believe. There we go. Chuck this. And I put Couple of these on, take some torches, at least three, maybe. Yeah, let's take one more. And then we just sleep for probably two hours, I'd say. Yeah, let's do that. this. This is where I am now. As you can see, we've gone all the way from the trailer and along this path here. And now we're getting to the cabin. That's it. That's the last haul. Get a good torch. Yeah. And that's it. Then we've pretty much done everything there is to see or do in Forsaken Airfield. Now, um, there isn't really much really to show other than this. I do like it very much. I think there's a lot of hidden areas, a lot of stuff to explore, and it's very elegantly designed with a bunch of areas to check out along the edges. And the open, it's deceptively open, so if you go there, you get if you and you get lost, it's very dangerous. Uh, I do feel that the rewards for exploring is a little bit low. There isn't a lot to find, like. Sure, there's more stuff to find on lower difficulties. But in Interloper, there isn't anything like can't find a storm lantern, hammer, hacksaw. or like it would be nice if one of these caves had something a bit more concrete. That would be good. But I think also this is gonna be developed more and more as time goes on. So I think it is a pretty good region. I really like it. Here's the road to the cabin. Wolf got scared of me. <laughs> Look at this. Look how gorgeous that is. I might have to take a moment here to uh, appreciate this. 
There's the mindful cabin. You can see the roof of it over there. Along the edges here, there isn't very much. I think maybe there is a small cave over there. Um, but I think for the most part, that's it. And there's usually a deer carcass around as well. Of course, you have wolves. That wolf got afraid, by the way, because I think he just got the fair chance. But also, if you there he is. If you're running against a wolf with a torch, um, they usually get scared. See over here, I don't think there's anything. Uh, this just sticks and whatnot. Uh, I don't think there's anything here. No, for now at least. Uh, deer carcass you might find, and that's it. Yeah. Let's go here and have a look at this view. There's a cabin right there. I'm going to do it next to the cabin. Uh, the, the weather design in this game is just, it continues to amaze me how, how good it is. I mean, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. It's a goddamn freezing. Just, uh, like this. Look at that. Look at this. Amazing. You got the mindful cabin, you got this helicopter crash. The bear is out on patrol. Airfield in the distance. Mindful cabin right there. I mean look how cool this is. This is just absolutely amazing. This uh this area. I think the design of it is really cool. Okay, there's like this, you can see everything. You know, you have the mindful ca cottage there, you have the island cottage for the back, you can see the plane crash on the ice, you know. You can't see the hunters blind in the fishing huts, they don't render, uh, I don't think. And then of course we have uh, here, you know, you have the, what's it called? The final approach, final approach. And the bear is out, you can see the airfield in the distance, the Polaroid we did is on the exact opposite side of this. Um, there's a huge area, but in the open it's very dangerous. But going around the edges takes a long time. As you can see, I've been running a lot this run, and it still takes forever to go around. And there's a lot of little things to explore. Anyway, I think uh, let's grab this torch. Let's head to the cabin itself. Uh, I think normally uh, I would probably go here second. Go to the airfield first, loot it all, then you come here. It's because you can get some loot here, not to mention the revolver. Then here, there's a bit of misc loot. There's the mindful cabin. And you have this trunk. And cloth. You have this, you have pork and beans. And here's water, if you need water. And this cooking this pot come in handy. Uh, is definitely really good to have. And some drawers. I'll do the revolver last if it's still there. Got nothing there. Got this. Up here there is a bed. And some food. Hope nobody needs this anymore. And some cloth, and you can also harvest these cloths here. Yeah. I think that's it of the main loot. However, there's also over here loose boards. There, see? Loose board. It doesn't, it doesn't really show, not really, but click on that. And you got magnifying lens, which I'm not sure if that's intended or not. You got faded paper. Ah, oh, now we're over this time. Well that's good. Because <laughs> you can find a revolver there on um, on the uh, an interloper sometimes. Okay, so no revolver this time, but it is possible to find a revolver in here, even an interloper, but that's clearly not intended. Today we found a mag lens, which may or may not be intended, but because it was um, invisible, it's probably unintended. Who knows though? Okay, let's go back out here. And now we have our second Vista location. This is the other Polaroid. So let's map this out. And there we go. I've never felt so cold in my life. 
After a decent chunk. This is one Polaroid, this is the second. The rest you gotta do yourself. Yeah, there you go. Why can't I? Yeah. I don't like the doors close behind you. That's a feature they added, but not a big fan of it. Can you see out here? I guess you kind of can. Yeah. Not too great though. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can also find, if you look close, on lower difficulties, you can find things like hatchets and knives in these barrels. So be careful looking for that. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything there is to explore and see. Yeah. So here's the whole roundabout. Now you can see everything I've done. So I came out over there. I walked through the, the little cave up to the airfield here. And I looted everything there. Then what I did is I walked this way uh, into final approach. From there I went over here to Island Cottage. Then I went over to this place to look for that Mackinac jacket. Went along the fishing huts here, uh, over to this little looted area, and then into the wolf cave. Then over to this crashed plane, over to the bear cave, to the helicopter, up to Junkie's hovel, all the way around Polaroid, back to the, the shortcut, and then a stony passage, and along the line here into a cave, and another cave, and then here. And that's it. We've done everything. The only thing we haven't done is there's a hunter's blind that's about there. It didn't go there. But you can find matches there. If you don't find matches at the airfield, there's matches there. Um, I also didn't go to this place here or this place over here. But it's just stones. There's nothing there, really. And that's it. That's pretty much the entire second airfield. We also didn't do the hub. But the hub is just like some books and a little bit of clothing, some coal. Uh, lower difficulty, you can find a bear bedroll there if you're super lucky. But this is Forsaken Airfield, and the main takeaway here is really that it's huge, it's spacious, it's vast, it's massive. But, uh, and there isn't much like loot really. There's lots of places, lots of locations, but not that much loot, except for in the airfield itself. In the airfield itself, there's a ton of loot so that you can set yourself up for a good run. But you can easily survive here for a long, long, long time because there's so many cattails. There's cattails all over the place. So you can easily survive for a really long time. And there's rabbits and stuff too. So yeah, so this is an area that I really like it. I think it's fast and open and really clever. I do wish there were more things to find around the map, but I think that's going to be added and be fleshed out over time. So I think this region is only going to get more interesting uh, over time. That's my opinion, anyway. But anyway, that was a pretty much a complete interloper breakthrough of the entire map. Didn't find a revolver this time, but in those loose balls you can find a revolver. <laughs> but that's not intended, I don't think, so you shouldn't go for that anyway. But yeah, this is a second airfield. It's huge, it's massive, it's deceptive, and it's difficult to navigate along the edges, particularly the western edges. But there's a lot of things to find. But the real danger is getting lost in the open, I think. But yeah. That was Forsaken Airfield and Interloper. This region will change, so if you're watching this in the future, this is what it looked like before. And if you're not, then this is something that will improve. It will be probably the radio will be here, the tails will be here, and probably there'll be cougars here eventually as well. So this region definitely will improve over time. But the gist of it is this. This is what this region is now. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time, survivors. <laughs> and bye bye. I would drink almost anything about now.